What is going on guys? Commodore Laz here today bringing to you a double live reaction of that Haikyuu Haipu with manga chapters 307 and 308. Now, it has been some time since I've actually, you know, it doesn't really actually, you know what? It, being gone for like an entire week doesn't really feel like a lot, but it does feel like a lot uh, has passed since the last time I've actually sat down and read some Haikyuu. I had some things going on last week, you know, a bit of a roadblock I had to deal with, but now that things are looking good, you know, for my mom's end and stuff. Uh, you know, I have more free time a little bit now today. I can actually go and cover um, the last two chapters that I've missed. Well, this two weeks chapter 308 and then last week's 307. So uh, we ended off, it was 6-4. Asahi came in, made the big score. So let's see exactly what we have to see um, in the two chapters now that uh, are to offer. And hopefully, you know, things kind of progress a little bit more uh, onwards, you know, into maybe the mid portions of the second set. Because I know like the third set is most likely going to be the longest portion of this entire match. So let's jump into it, guys. Here we go. Chapter 307. Let's go. That communication error just now was a mistake. How is Karasuno faring before the start of the second set? It was a mistake caused by our entire team's intention being focused on preparing for an attack. Just like how the service of the nets or our out are, 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 are our mistakes. Let's say you are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And it seems like you're forced to make a choice between doing a powerful serve or playing it safe and just getting the ball across. The thing is, you're misunderstanding the situation. The right response is to do a powerful serve and not miss. And so in that vein, the correct response to our situation earlier would have been to save that chance ball and to have everyone perform an attack on top of that. Right. That was my ball. Our end goal remains unchanged. We got, a hit at, we got at them with a multiple person team attack and dominate that rally. So it's fine to be indecisive, indecisive over which exact attack pattern to use, but... Don't you dare hesitate when it comes to dominating the rally. The, their philosophy doesn't change. Tenacity, chapter 307. There we go. So six to four. Nice, nice, Asahi. Push the push, Asahi. Give us another. Azumani serve. And my boy coming in. Making the serve. The serve. And, whoa. And talk. Oh, it went out, man. Talking to her, I thought he was going to get that. And it goes right just barely past the line. Out. My my toss uh, my serve toss was a bit off just now and for the earlier one as well. Lucky lucky Nakama, six to five. Okay okay. So Kuro's going for his serve. He comes in and Azumani makes a stop. He's like Asai son, get it. Kageyama coming in, makes a stop to Suki. Ah, it came after uh, came uh, came uh, my way after all. Whoa, a vertical attack from the near the attack line. It goes right by Lev and right past, uh, off Takatora. It had to be a point. No, but Yaku got it. A vertical attack from the near the attack line in spite of the slightly unwieldy formation. Follow. However, Nekuma manages to save even this one. Chance ball. One more, one more. Yo! Okay, like... Dude, Kenma just came in, thought like a little floater, like this, into the dead space. And just when you thought it was over, man, Daichi comes in and just sends it right back up in the air. Let's go. A first touch to give uh, to give room to breathe. Senkuro attack. Kageyama's going in, and Tanaka gets it. Right off Takatora, bounces off him, and Kuro, you, can't, you won't get it, man. You won't get it, Kuro. Nice. 7-5. to five. Ah, Karasuno's first set doesn't seem to have put a damper on this set at all. Given the communication early, er, error that er, had er, they had earlier, I thought they'd be a bit more indecisive. Karasuno comes off uh, comes off as a rally, reckless team, and that is how they actually are sometimes. But in reality, they are a lot more cool-headed than everyone gives them credit for, and they think things thorough. And they think things through. So Kuro coming um, out, Yaku going out. Uh, well, you know, switching that. While the strong and those who are getting stronger are always involved in becoming something new, they all they also have a core. Karasuna's core is their strong will to attack, which does not waver easily. So Lev comes in, he gets his point. Seven to six cars for Karasuno. Nice, nice Lev! Push up, push up, Lev! With the curve rotation. Fukunaga coming in. Is this short sir targeting Hinata too? Ishinoya san! Got this! My boy got it! And Hinata notices something. Oh, he's going to go right for the play. And they're all watching on. And Tanaka makes the hit. One touch. Lev. Up. Okay. Tora. And wait. Does it goes the block. Nice receive. It wasn't nice at all. Nishinoi makes the save. And Kagema sends up for the dump. 
No, Hinata comes in. Hinata got it. He got the he got the point. He got the point. This Fukunaga guy, man, holy crap. Every single time Fukunaga's coming in here, man. This dude is some I'm telling you, man, Fukunaga is the X Factor of this team. He's the guy that everyone is not focusing on. And when it comes to those crucial plays, he's in there stopping. Look at Hinata's face, man. An instance of trickery of a tricky situation is transformed into an opportunity for a powerful attack. What terrifying offensive ability Karasuno possesses. However, Nakama refuses to even let this one through. Fall back! Fall back! Asahi makes a hit. Synchro attack! Hinata incoming from the center. And no, it's Azumani! And Azumani got it, right? And behind him, Azumani with the high speed back attack. Goes off Yaku, but it, the tenacity. This is the tenacious neck. For God's sake, man. This Fukunaga is. Yo, he's. Yo, Fukunaga got chill, bro. You gotta chill. You didn't get that, did you? Oh, go right back to my boy. Tendo Goshiki. They make it sound like the kitties are the only ones being tenacious like that. Nekum is showing tenacity through defense, and Karasuno is preserving thorough uh, through attack. They're so persistent. Every single time, everyone that the team goes in as both the spiker and the decoy. Even though the only difference is whether you're being persistent on the ground or in the air, or in midair. Tendo-san is pretty sa savage towards the people actually involved. <laughs> Look at my boy's face. The crows with the, with the skies as their domain have to repeat the most physically taxing motion of jumping over and over. So they probably have it harder. Fall back. One more. One more. And so my guess is that the kitties know it too. Look at Nekuma work hard, uh, work so hard to save the ball. It really makes me want to cheer for them, even though they are enemies. It's sort of like they're enduring their. Uh, it's sort of like they're enduring their suffering, or something, or rather, the ones who are enduring could well be Karasuno. Come now, let's drag these crows back down to earth. The mounting pressure from the incessant saves. Let's jump. Let's jump to 308, man. Dude. Look at Kuro, bro. Him saying this. Yo, we're gonna drag you back down from the skies, man. And bring you back to reality. Look how serious his face is, too, man. Let's jump into it, guys. Here we go. The White Hawk rally continues. And coming right off, Takatora is coming in and makes the saving. The ball's going back on the air. Wow, it got returned again. Amazing, hang in there. The rally is painful. Our legs are aching. We can't catch our breath. But we know. We know that it is all the more painful for you lot. Chapter 308, Needle and Broadsword. In just one shot, in just this one shot. It's so easy to cut corners when it comes to the run-up or the jump itself. Even if I skip out on the attack, the others are still there to do it. But... If we do that, Nekum is going to perfectly save the next spike. From a time-based point of view, the path that looks the hardest is in fact the easier way to go. Synchro attack. That's why I hate this. And here we go. They got the point. They got it. 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 That's how you got it. That, the ball had to bounce. Ball bounce. That's a point. That's a point, baby. That's a point. An intense spike from the left. Tanaka Ryunos. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It was, it was Tanaka. I'm looking because. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Tanaka because you see like the, the like the um the motion from the spike and stuff coming down straight past Fukunaga and uh, Yaku. Dude, an intense spike from the left. Tanaka Ryunosuke. Well fought. And he's like, yeah, take that. Nakama's momentum has been cut short in one fell swoop. Oh, he held the, he didn't go with the coach. He just bump. All right, eight to six. Go, go, Rinosuke. Push up, push up, Rinosuke. Jeez, that was tough. That was, that was one tough rally. Karasuno played well. Give us another. <laughs> My boy is already panting, yo. What set are we on again? Feels like the, the fifth set already. Wait, you mean this isn't the fifth set? Hinata's noticing, man. We're only at the beginning of the second set. We got lots, uh, loads more of the match to play. There's, still, there's a long road ahead of us. Yeah, there's a long road ahead of us, you know, Kageyama's saying. And he's in Tanaka's face, bro. He looks like he's about to die. Get away from me, you lot! It's too hot! I, I thought I already knew. But I get reminded every time. There's no going to be the... There's not never going to be a time 
There's never going to be the kind of spike or serve where one despairs and thinks that just can't be saved. By the time I realize it, we're already driven into a corner. And I am reminded, that's right, this is Nekoma we are playing against. Daichi, man. Nekoma sure is amazing. They're saving su uh, such powerful spikes one after another. It's uh, like it's nothing. The most irritating thing about Nekoma is indeed their defensive prowess. But that's not all there is to them. Before you even realize that you've taken a real blow, or even register the fact that you're solely being chipped out away at, you're already taking, you already have taken more damage than you know. That kind of thing happens every now and then. You really can't afford to let your guards uh, down against them. They're persistent. And never have any openings. Subaru, you really hate Nekoma, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Nekoma clinches on. While Karasuno tries to shake them off, the game of attack and defense has even the audience uh, holding their breath. This is how you feel. This is how you know this game is intense. Man. When you have it to the point... Where even like the audience, even the people on commentary, man, have it in their chest right now. They're feeling like this is like a five star match you're about to experience. It, like it's gonna be tough just to kind of keep focus and like kind of keep like your emotions intact. Next page, and yo, right away, Kagi, I'm gonna come and get, dude. This is a godly double, and it's in, and it's in. Look at bro, come on, that is so goat. Kagi, I'm gonna in with the serve. Smashes it. Freaking right by Kai. And goes right by him. In. What a trajectory. Kage Yamatopio scores the first service ace of the day. That one literally painted the line, didn't it? There's no saving that one. Yikes. Kageyama is really getting on top of his game. Kageyama is full of spirit today too. And you see the Kinata, but I can't I gotta go back, bro. Look at Kenma's face. Right on, bro, on the line, man. Kageyama, yo, Kageyama is that dude, man. He really is. He's either even Tendo 2, Hinata, Goshiki, you're all like, what the hell? 9 to 6. Nakama going for the first time out. Wah, I do hate Nakama, but I do feel bad for them for having to deal with Karasuno's obnoxious brute force. What the hell is wrong with Karasuno? Can they maybe chill out with their attacks a bit? I mean, they ain't, uh, they, ain't they be more like, so I'm done. Good luck, uh, Spikers on the left. Or be like our very own Ken Makun, who just had underarm tossed their left side as Spikers uh, for, or something. Just who on earth do you think our opponents are? This is Karasuno we're talking about. Like, Koda's lost his mind. But they are well and truly getting worn out. There's no such thing as infinite stamina. But the same goes for us too. Cause you look at yo, you're looking at like Fukunaga, Yaku, and stuff, and like you know they're sweating. But right now, man, Kenma's the one who's sweating the most. You know how much uh, right now it's, it's taking a toll out of him as well. Kenma, stop! Don't you say another word. <laughs> Show me some backbone. Piss off and goes in with a flicker jab. <laughs> there we go, man. Kageyama coming in for another one. The second serve. Everyone watching on. And Fukunaga makes it. But Fukunaga gets sent flying back. Bro, this man put Bushoku Haki into that spike and sent this man flying. And Yaku comes in for the second one. Fukunaga, chance ball, chance ball. Yet another powerful serve. Kenma, last. Nakuma manages to save it at the very least. This bastard. <laughs> Nata comes in, bro. Let's go. Lucy and just watching on. Nice receive. The tricky Kozume Kenma, who never returns a ball for free. Kozume Kun really has a good view of the playing field, doesn't he? However, Hinata has pulled off a nice receive. Here we go. Kagama setting up for Tanaka. Yeah. Chance ball. It goes with one touch. Chance ball. This match is extremely exhausting, but, and Hinata's getting ready. I'll always have the energy to jump. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on, man. And he makes the block. He makes the block. He goes right up, Yaku. I never thought a blocker would be even, uh, would be there. <laughs> Hinata Kun sure moved that fast. Now, this is a big turning point for Karasuno. A point secure with all their might. And look, look at Canva's face. But I love this line, yo. I will always have the energy to jump. Like, dude. I don't know how people can say they don't like Hinata, man. The amount of development he's had in his game, where he's making, you know, the receives like he's doing right now. We know receiving is not his, uh, his strongest component. 
But now seeing him pull these blocks off, man. Like, his game has increased so much, man. And to think, this is him in his first year. Imagine what he's going to be like in his second, you know, in his third year afterwards. Like, man. Look at that, bro. Takatora thought he had it. This man thought he had him. And all you see is the block right there. It just stopped him. Miyaku getting sent right back, man. Jesus Christ. So what? So now it's 10 to 6. Because last time we went back. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's 10 to 6. That's crazy, bro. So, yeah, so now we're in the... Now it's starting to slowly get into the, you know, the teens and stuff in terms of the numbers. But, man, I mean, the big focus point, though, Karasuno and Nekoma, both of them are, are, you know, are being deprived of their stamina. They know that for, you know, the long duration of this matchup, it's going to be very taxing. So people like Kenma, Kageyama, the main, you know, people for setting up the points and stuff for them, they got to make sure those guys are reserving in strength, you know? So we're gonna have to get our second setter coming in right after him, Sugawaru and stuff. But, but man, this match has been so good. I'm glad you know, I got a double in for this one. But this has been really good, <sighs> dude. I I can't get this line out of my head, man. I will always have energy. I will always have the energy to jump. That's my main character, man. He not to great in this. But yeah, man. That concludes the double for this week. Hopefully next week I'll be able to come back here, you know, be able to, you know, get back on covering the, you know, the manga weekly. Uh, you know, just a bit of a roadblock last week, but regardless, <sighs> Karasuno and Nekma, man, you know, this is gonna be a, this is a fire match already, but you know, it's it's leading up to something pretty good, uh, pretty great, should I even say, you know, that's gonna be coming up in the, you know, towards in this match. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. You want to be a part of the Haikyuu journey that I cover this manga each and every single week. And uh, with all that being said, I will catch you guys next week, man. Shout out to 309 of Haikyuu. It's going to be fire, guys. So, Commodore Laz, signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.